Today is Prince Kuhio Day. It's a day to celebrate Jono Kuhio Kalaniana Ole, who was once in line for the Hawaiian monarchy, but much of his lasting legacy came after the overthrow of the Hawaiian kingdom. KITV4's Paul Drew shows us the continuing impact of the Hawaiian Homestead Commission Act, which he helped get passed by the U.S. Congress in 1921. Papakolea has been made up of Hawaiian homestead lands for many decades and has seen success as a community. But like other homestead areas, there's still more work to be done. Papakolea, located just above Honolulu, has all but about two dozen lots with homes on them. But many native Hawaiians are still waiting for their own lot so they can build their own home. On average, um, our federal government and our state government together have roughly issued, on average, 100 lots a year. Uh, of course, that needs to be in the thousands uh, annually. There are still nearly 29,000 people on the statewide wait list for a lot, even though the Homestead Act was passed more than a century ago. It is one of the, the painful realities of being a Native Hawaiian in our own uh, homes, homesteads, but we can't lose Oh, it, it has been decades, not years. Waiting for a lot is just one of the challenges facing Native Hawaiians. So is financing that home. We still need a lot more access to resources, like lending in homestead communities. Um, we can't just go to Bank of Hawaii and go get a loan, you know, because we can't collateralize our land because the land is held in trust. Another challenge is finding financial options during an economic emergency, like many experienced during the pandemic. Some biased policy of a couple of decades ago, which is completely fixable, said arbitrarily, hey, for Native Hawaiians, you guys are not allowed to have a second equity loan. You're not allowed to have a HELOC just like your neighbor. That is why, along with a push to increase the number of lots awarded each year, there's also an effort to eliminate those small barriers Native Hawaiians currently face while setting the right policy for the future. So how would Prince Kohio feel about the Homestead Act more than a century after it went into effect? I think he would be disappointed. But I also think the statesman and the visionary that, hit, that history has shown him to be, that he would be like us, optimistic, not giving up, and doing the work uh, to make sure that the fullness of what he, he hoped for comes to fruition. Homesteads will also be the focus of an upcoming concert called Hano Hano Kuhio. Those who grew up on homesteads or sing about these important lands will perform Saturday at the Vai Vai Collective. In Papakolea, Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.